This is a weird darkness bonus bite. A Scott's mom and daughter were shocked when their stroll was interrupted by a sighting of the Loch Ness Monster. Louise Power and mom Jennifer McRae believed they spotted Nessie while they were out walking along the Great Glen Way above Temple Pier at Drumna Droict on November 15th. The pair's claim they saw the iconic river creature was registered as the 13th official sighting of Nessie in 2020. The Loch Ness spot came just next to where Louise, 38, has stayed all her life. The high school clerical assistant told how eagle-eyed mom Jennifer, age 60, saw something strange in the water while out walking. She said, Mom saw it first and said, Look! And I just said, Be quiet! I expected to see a seal or something, but we spent 20 minutes watching this thing moving slowly along the middle of the lock. There was a wake after it, and during that time it did not disappear, it just kept moving slowly. Then it turned towards Doris with a big wave and just went under the water and disappeared. She added, I just couldn't believe it. It was quite big and whitish gray. I couldn't put an exact size on it, other than it was big. We've both lived here all our lives and we've never seen anything like that before. I did believe there was something unexplained in the lock. Now I know there is. When it turned away from us, the waters were really disturbed and we watched it for another five minutes before it went under. At the end of our sighting, it did not look as long as it did at the beginning, you could not make out its exact shape. I run and walk along that road regularly, and I've never seen anything unusual before in all those years. I've been trying to rationalize it in my head since, but I'm baffled. Louise's nearby neighbor, Ross McCullough, a former Nessie skeptic, saw a similar creature in July last year. He said, I started watching it for five minutes. There was no long neck, no head, just the hump bit. I'd say it was 12 feet long and 4 feet wide at its widest. It was light gray and it went under the water, then up, and then disappeared. Gary Campbell, keeper of the official Loch Ness Sightings Register, has accepted the encounter on November 15th as a record. He said, This is the 13th accepted sighting this year, which in a year of lockdown is incredible. Normally, there would have been half a million visitors to the lock, but the sightings have held up with so many less people about. The mystery is as strong as ever. It just shows that, whatever the situation, Nessie's not gone away and is finishing the end of the year with another unexplained appearance. It all adds to the mystery and, in many ways, is a vintage year for sightings. This latest one is another unexplained phenomenon at Loch Ness. We'll never have firm evidence without a carcass, which none of us want. This is a Weird Darkness bonus bite.